All right, this video is going to be for the uh, rectangular pattern. It's a little different than circular pattern, but not by much. So <clears throat> just real quickly, create a six by four rectangle, extrude it to half an inch. Okay, um, so we're going to do that. Six by four, rectangle, rectangle command. Oop. Yeah, there we go. Um, we'll go six wide, four high. And we'll finish that. Extrude it 0.5 inches. Uh, next instruction says um, use the following image to sketch. Okay, so we're going to do a circle that is a half inch up, half inch over, and is 0.3 in diameter. So we got to sketch our circle. Now, the nice thing, I'm going to use the XY coordinates that I've got. It says a half inch over, half inch up. Well, from from zero zero, I can tell it 0.5, tab over 0.5, and there we go. There's my center. Uh, 0.3, I believe they specified as the diameter. So I've got my sketch. Now here's where I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little off the instructions. They say to pattern, I believe they say rectangular pattern the sketch. Um, but what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna finish my sketch and extrude first uh, to 0.3. Uh, which I, again, I don't know if they specify the extrusion depth or height either. Um, 0.3 extrusion of just the one part. And then just like circular pattern, it's right up here, right above it is rectangular. So the two things you need to know about the rectangular feature is, well the first of all is the feature itself. The feature is that little knob we just created. Now the difference between circular and rectangular is direction 1 and direction 2. We need to specify both. So direction one, doesn't matter what direction you choose, but you're either gonna select um, like this face here or this edge. When I do that, you notice that it's got a green preview here. Some of you, you may, when you click on that edge, you may get it so that it's down here. If you get that, all you're doing is clicking on this reverse arrow and it changes the direction. Now with that direction, I have four going upward and from there, um, that specifies six along the other, the long direction. So we just click on the mouse for direction two. Direction two, we have to specify. Now, if I specify this face again, it's gonna do the same direction. So I'm gonna go 90 degrees, and I'm gonna select just this edge here. And here's a good example. The lines went the wrong direction. So I just have to flip this way and specify six this time. And it's previewing just like the window is here. So it looks good. We're gonna hit OK, and we have ourselves a circular pattern. So again, the thing with circular pattern is make sure you select the feature, then direction one. In direction one, you always want an edge or a face uh, in the in the direction parallel to th that you want. Uh, and then you can always flip the direction if you need to. So that's it, we just hit the save button on that one and call that rectangular pattern and put that in your 5.5a folder.